close. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got it in, right? Almost. Almost got it in. Okay, so now, what? how else do we make everything else? The peanut um, you, ripple? Let's go. Yes, okay, so that's... Um, that's really just butter and sugar uh, no, syrup see. melted in the pan with some bit of bicarbonate of soda. You don't call that your baking soda, you call it. And then I like to live dangerously. And then you put the peanuts in and then you just let it spill into a kind of slab. I just get a, like, a jelly roll tin with a bit of you know, Baker Glide or grease foil and then break it up. Again, good for you, more violence. Right. <laughs> exactly. If I can bust some nuts, I'm happy about yeah. that. Um, what about this? This is the... It's um, like a Chinese takeaway, isn't it? This is... Uh, where do you get these, by the way? Yeah. I don't know. This is... You have to ask Anna, the food stylist, where she gets this. It's rather nice, though. Is there going to be one on every after the show show? Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Just... Innuendo. Uh, all right, well, that's good because you're packaging it up and give this stuff out instead of, like, for me, I'm like, all right, I made it, it looks nice. Uh, now i got some plastic baggies. I'm going to hand it out to people. Not, no, this is better. It. But so although, it. it's great with a plastic baggie, too. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter because you can just put it in a bag. And, you know, you, I'm sure even you could tie a little bow with a ribbon. Oh, don't overestimate me. Um, now, tell us I about don't your... Think, I don't think I will. Uh, <laughs> no chance of that. No chance. Um, tell us about your sneaky secret to keeping cookies on the Christmas tree. Oh, well, when I put in the spice to when I make these cookies, they're exactly like gingerbread cookies from Germany, I put in some black pepper to stop my kids from just taking them off the tree. So when I saw you <laughs> yeah. sneak one out straight away, I thought, oh, boy, is he him for a it mistake? It did have a little You're spice thinking, to it. So these, these have the pepper in it down yes, here? Yes, I mean, it's nice. In fact, in Germany, they put pepper in anyway and they are called really? you know like pepper biscuits or whatever they call them mm -hmm. but it's but you know it's actually is it's also just a disincentive for the children uh, now this guy over here is a he bakes he's good quite, he makes a he's lot good. of good food he's a lot he's a really good cook um, anything any cooking baking tips you need from a cookie standpoint I'd be curious to hear if there's something you don't know that you could learn I'm not much it's very hard to know what you don't know. you're not a baker no. You don't do Why? What is it? Because people are either cooks or bakers. I used to think that. I used to think that, right, no, you to think that and I think you can be both. I think that people who bake have at, do a fantastic kind of scam, which is they, they like people to think it's some <laughs> arcane <laughs> gift. Yes, that's what I mean. Some have. Because you've baked stuff at your Christmas party last year. You had. No, I can, I, and, and I will, but it's a very precise thing. And but the cooking is yes. a little more creative right, to me than baking. It's just a question of getting into the swing of it. I mean, the thing yeah. of baking, which is, and it's difficult because this is a refrigerator-obsessed country, is you really have to have everything at room temperature before you start. Oh, is that right? Yes. I didn't know that. The eggs really? and everything? Yes, but it just makes a lighter cake. That, that, because if you think about it, if, if everything's cold, the oven temperature is going to drop quite a lot when it goes in the oven because that's how... You know, that's how it works, the whole right. heating yeah. up principle. So if things are at room temperature, you can get more air in as you, as you beat the ingredients, mm. and it starts cooking at the right temperature straight away. Did you know that, Rick? Really? I did that. know that, actually. But I'm one of those people I rarely will think of that, of that I mean, cold, the cold, the cold, the cold is good for time. pastry. You see, you've got very cold hands. Well, so I was you, outside. It's very cold. So, <laughs> for that, so, you know, the cold hands are very, very good for pastry, for dough making. So, please, tomorrow, mm -hmm. bring in croissant. I will do that. Uh, tell us about the book. Now, what can we find in there, in Nigella Christmas? I mean, I, I tried really to sort of imbue you it this, with, with sort of the holiday spirit, and it's kind of, it's really kind of festive to the max you know if and it, if it wasn't red white or green i just didn't want to know <laughs> it's not in there but it, it had to sparkle mm -hmm. and i i collect sort of various bits of uh, junk you know of like christmas china i've got some fantastic china as i photographed in the book with a little bit of a leaping deer and a red rim on the plates for this from the 1950s it's heaven okay i want to know what's it really like at your house if it's like Very a sunday messy. and you're not working Very you don't have anything that you're working on you wake up on a sunday do you put this together or are you cracking out a bowl of cornflakes um <laughs> i do pancakes a lot at the weekend because i i either have no now, now my children are teenage i either have no children, or about 35 of them. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I find pancakes is very easy. Otherwise, one, you have to you're turned into a sort of short order chef. Okay. One wants this, one wants that. So I do a big thing of pancakes. Is there a specialty to your pancakes? Is there a secret? Well, I don't think there is. Because this is how she does cornflakes. Yes. These are, wow. these are good. I'd wake up every morning bright and early for breakfast. Plate <laughs> <laughs> is now wearing. Oh, history. that is very good. Mm -hmm. Well, then what about on Christmas Day? I mean, are you traditional? Do you very. go turkey, stuffing? Turkey, 
two stuffings. Mm. I do uh, what a we do. That we do. Li I do a chestnut one mm. and a gingerbread one, and I try to do a sausage one. And I do little sausages. And in the case that's not enough, I wrap them in bacon. Oh. And uh, we're not decking it enough. Yeah. Is. Let me, let me, is, there, is there an American food that you're just like so turned off by that you cannot, you still scratch your head as to why we eat this garbage? No, and in fact, I I have a weakness for the sort of things that a lot of you know, like you might be embarrassed about. When I, you know, I, that squeezy cheese that goes on fries, <laughs> I I, love I have stuff. to say I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want it every day. The process, the cheese whiz, cheese whiz. like in the, yeah. when you, pre, you press it out a little knot. Oh, I, I used to, you know, you get that and fill it up. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't want to eat it at home, but there's something about, you have, you know, some fries mm. with a bit of gravy and the cheese all over it. Ooh, that, oh that's gosh. not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. When can we party with you? Know, right? <laughs> that, the book is out now, and people can find it on Amazon and uh, Barnes & Noble and any of the big stores, right? Yeah. All right. It's beautiful. And there it is. Thanks so much for coming in and oh, treating no, us with all of these delicious treats. Go there and buy it for the holidays. Thanks so much, Nigel. Merry Christmas. Thank you. That is the After the Show show. See you tomorrow.